When it comes to making sure that your sales process is really fine-tuned, it's really important to firstly understand the sales psychology behind the process. So one of the first things that we talk about and that we teach in our sales psychology is selling yourself. So what we mean by that is really simple. If you personally don't believe in the product or the service, how in the name of God can you then push that product or service? So the most important thing that you need to do from this moment forward is sell yourself to yourself. Understand your value, understand how much you matter and how much your service impacts other people. If you can start there, your own psyche will come on board and you'll present better, you'll be more confident and you'll come across not salesy, ironically, but you'll come across as a really good, trustworthy person because that's what you are. So understand that you first need to sell yourself. The common analogy in the sales space is the first door you need to close is your own car door before you leave for your work, right? So again, close yourself, sell yourself before you sell anybody else. If you can get that right, you're already onto a winner. Now from here, probably the, the second most important piece on this whole sales psychology journey is understanding the emotional side of the sales process. And what we mean by that is, checking in on your EQ or your own emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, being aware of how you present and how other people present is really important. And to do that, one of the simple sort of uh, tests that we teach and use is something known as DISC personality profiling. So we have a DISC test in our resources section. Make sure you take it, see what um, level you're at. Are you a D, an I, an S, or a C? They're personality types. And most importantly, it's about knowing yourself to be able to know other people. So again, sell yourself first, then understand the emotional side of selling, the, the emotional intelligence. And then the next step would be understanding the SARE sales equation. So we have a really simple equation that we use to help fitness business owners live and, and dive into these two pieces particularly. So it's really simple. And, and we've, we've cultivated this equation over time and it works every time. So what it looks like is emotion plus connection equals success and sales. Promotion plus collection equals stress and fail. Now excuse my writing, but this is a really simple way for us to understand our own sales process. Think about it. Emotion plus connection, real deep connection with a person equals success and sales. It's obvious, right? Promotion, so fight to the bottom, 20% off, 50% off, 70% off, plus collection, who can get the most leads, who can get the most connections, equals stress and fail, because you're going to be selling yourself out at a really cheap price point, and you're going to have to do it to the world, to everybody. It's not gonna work over time. So I would encourage you, dive in on the emotion, connect with the person on a deeper level, and obviously that's the second part, connect. So get emotional tie-ins and connect with that individual. All you need is to grow your business by 10, 20, 50, 100, whatever size of business you're running, and you're going to be winning massively. So you don't need 5,000 collections. You don't need to, to drop your price to half. You need to get down to the real root reason that people are interested, and you need to connect with those individuals on a deeper level. So sell yourself, build your EQ and your, your awareness, and then understand the SARE sales equation. Emotion plus connection equals success and sales. Promotion plus collection equals stress and fails.